you know, <laughs> it takes a little bit to push a guy's buttons, but, um, when you push a guy's buttons, that the patient, a volcano seems to happen, or a bomb. What's going on, everyone? This is Cody Brandon here of the National Wrestling Shooter, shooting from the head, as always. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be shooting from the head, I'm going to be ranting. Now, if you didn't see the discover the beginning, this is not 100% what's going to happen in Mania. These are just rumors. I am just, and the terms I'm putting in is if things go like what I'm talking about right here. And if they do, well, this is the last time you're going to hear from me on this. Um, there's a lot of things I got to talk about. Um, Fast Lane's coming up. We all know that's usually the shit show. I really don't remember a Fast Lane that's been good, to be honest with you. Um, but, nonetheless, we have Fast Lane coming up. Um, what do we have in there? We have two matches on there that. We have Roman Reigns against Braun Strowman. Honestly, that's gonna put me to sleep. But you know what? Shockingly, that's not the worst part of the show. Yes, I'm saying it. That's not the worst part of the show. Roman Reigns is not the worst part of Fastlane. You wanna know what the worst part of Fastlane is? Kevin Owens versus Goldberg. Yes, I'm still going on about this. And ain't a goddamn soul that's gonna change my fucking mind on this. Goldberg, Kevin Owens, the Universal Title at Fastlane. And, um, <laughs> from what I heard, right, um, this is gonna be a squash match. And Goldberg's gonna fucking win. And then, <laughs> and then, Goldberg's gonna wanna face Brock and Mania, and Brock's gonna win the belt <laughs> and be a part time champion again. And then, <laughs> Brock's gonna drop the belt to Roman Reigns. Run Roman. <laughs> Kill me now. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna put this out there. Does it make sense? Unfortunately, yes. It makes sense, unfortunately. But, fuck logic when it comes to that. Fuck logic, dude. Fuck that shit. Okay. What did Goldberg do to earn a universal title match? Period. Now, before you're like, oh, well, then he beat, he beat Buck in the minute 26 at Survivor Series. And then, 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 and Second off, if they were going to give up a championship match, they probably would have done it earlier. Because of that, Goldberg just came out, challenged, and Jericho accepted for him. For Kevin Owens. So what did Goldberg do? Before then, as well, my imagine, before Survivor Series, um, to earn a shot at the title. Um, what? Oh, oh, that's right, he, he, He's a main guy in a video game. He came back to promote a video game. He came back to fight Brock. In a, in a squash match. And then what did you do? Uh, what did you do after that? Did you do anything for the weeks to come? Mm, no. He just said he was going to be the Rumble. Okay. Fine. He's in the Rumble match. I don't have any direct objections to that. Did he win the Rumble? No. Oh, okay. Did he was runner up? No. Did he last 10 minutes? Mm -mm. Five. Mm -mm. Did he come in the final two? Mm -mm. So I get why he earned a ring. Or a shot. Now, as crazy as this sounds, if Reigns would have gotten another shot at Fastlane, it would have made sense. Why? Because he was in the final two of the Rumble match, so he at least earned the right, even though he only lost in the five So that's... It's like one thing that can be like, oh, you don't deserve a shot, but then again, he's like, he was part of the final two. And it's like, oh, well, I ain't even gonna say. But, um... Yeah. Um, then... Okay. I talked about this at Godzilla Hawks hanging out last night, right? Okay. 
Um, I like Goldberg. I like Goldberg. I like Goldberg. Okay. I don't hate him. Um, I love Kevin Owens, you know? And people will say, oh, you need to put your pride aside for Kevin Owens. It ain't even about the freaking pride for Kevin Owens, dude. It's about the fucking business standpoint of you're relying your shit on part-timers. Okay? People say, like, oh, if Reigns wins the belt or wins the Rumble, then they have no faith in new talent. That would be true. But putting the goddamn world title on a part-timer like Goldberg or Brock for fucking ticket sales proves they have no goddamn faith in talent right there. You want to use that logic? Let's fucking use that logic then. So, I'm going to say this now. Goldberg... I don't give a damn if you say the belt's next or oh it is next when I'm saying it now because I I'm predicting Goldberg's gonna fucking win it. When you win, when Goldberg wins, don't expect me to fucking eat it, eat it, eat it like I've eaten a lot of stuff that WWE has given us for the fucking better part of the 2016 year. Don't expect me to fucking do that. No. You pushed me too much, WWE, man. You pushed me too much. Um. And then, going on to Goldberg Brock. Now, Goldberg Brock, WrestleMania, I don't have a necessarily problem with. That match being there on the Mania card, fine. Okay. That's not a problem. But, it's not the main event, is it? Oh, well, rumors say it's going to be the main event. Yeah, it's a little bit disheartening, but um, hey, you know what? It could be worse. It could be. It could. It could add the belt in there. Oh, uh, well, you want the belt in the main event, do you? So I mean, the universe title's gonna be on the line. Um, they'll fucking use over it against us. No, don't want that. Um, who the fuck is winning? Oh, Brock, and then he's gonna be a part timer again. So you're gonna do fucking 2014. Okay. Why? Why the fuck are you doing that? Why? What, you're not fucking faithing guys like Owens or Balor or even... You don't want to give fucking Jericho a chance. Why the fuck are you relying on these old fucking part-timing fucks in the fucking main event of Mania for a fucking world championship and you're going to give it to a fucking... Dumbass part-timer like Brock fucking Lesnar, who doesn't even give a fuck about the goddamn fucking business. It's just almighty fucking dollar. He can be in the ring for less than 20 goddamn minutes in his goddamn life and get paid $6 million. Now, I want to be in this fucking business, don't get me wrong. I would love to make $6 million just by fucking being in the ring less than 20 minutes. But I wouldn't want the fucking belt. I would honestly be like, Give it to someone else who fucking is there every single goddamn week. Now people were like, ooh, but let me bring this. The one thing it did good is it put guys like Ambrose and Wyatt on the spotlight in the main event. Okay? That's the one thing it did good. Other than that, though, the championship might not be the most important part. It's a goddamn fucking key factor, though. That's a lot of people want to fucking forget. A lot of people want to fucking forget that the... World Championship, or Universal Championship in this case, is a goddamn, is a major, if not the most important factor of the show, because everyone wants to be the World Champion there. If you don't want to be World Champion someday, what the hell are you doing there? And no, I was in a fucking hangout last night, right, with guys I respect the hell out of. Scooty, uh, Scott Casey Gale, Godfrey Hawk, and Global Smith Entertainment. I respect all of them. But, see, unlike some people who will just take things, I'm not gonna fucking take it just because I'm a Goldberg fan. I'm not gonna fucking be like, oh, yay, Goldberg's, Goldberg's champion. Goldberg's gonna be champion. I'm fine with this. I'm not gonna rant and complain. Fuck that because I got a fucking bark bone. I got a fucking backbone, I got a goddamn voice, and you're damn certain I'm gonna be fucking voicing that out!
whenever bullshit like this comes around. It makes sense. It does. I'm not going to deny it. But you know what? Maybe it's not about making sense. Maybe the reason why people complain so much is because they want what they fucking want. Now that makes sense in the eyes of Vince's goddamn mental hospital fucking McMahon. Or Kevin goddamn nut job done. None of those fucks. They want certain things in life to make them happy. And Vince is like, oh no, you're gonna have Cena's champion. Oh, you're gonna have fucking Brock as champion. And then you're gonna have Roman or Strowman as champion. Well, fucking fuck that bullshit. Fuck that. Maybe I don't want fucking logic sometimes. Maybe I want what I want. And I don't really do rants on this, but I don't get what I want most of the time like I used to. But fucking hell, man. Doing it for goddamn ticket sales instead of actually wanting to put on a good fucking show. If it was me, I would want to put on the best goddamn fucking show I could possibly do so then the buy rates for the WWE Network would go skyrocketing, tickets would sell out legitimately, might I add. And, and, more money is made that way. Now, yeah, I mean, how the part-timers being the matches, some of the matches, yeah, that's fine. Like, Goldberg Brock being in the card, all that, that's fucking, that's fine. But you want to know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say this right now, and I ain't fucking taking it back. I would rather see John Cena versus Roman Reigns for both world championships then Goldberg versus Brock in the main event of Mania for either world title or in the main event, period. Yes, I fucking said it. Fucking sue me. Fucking sue me. Because at least with Cena and Roman, they are fucking there. Even though Cena's there less now, a little bit less less because he's taking more movie deals. But he's more there than Brock fucking bitch-ass suplex City Lesnar. More Roman Reigns is... They're more than Goldberg. Good dad. See what you're making me do? I'd rather see Cena and Reigns for both I would rather see him for all the goddamn championships of the WWE. And I'm not taking that back. I fucking mean that. Every five of my being, I fucking mean that. I would rather see Reigns against The Undertaker. For the... There, I said it. I said it. I'd rather see Reigns against Taker. And I ain't happy about that. <laughs> I made it abundantly clear. I have a red flag on that. I would rather fucking see Reigns to Taker than Goldberg Brock in the main event for the Universal Championship. Period. I fucking mean it. You know what? I would rather have Reigns be in the main event for a third straight year than Goldberg and Brock for a world title in the main event. And I'm not taking that back. I mean it. You can fucking say, oh, you're bitching too much. Oh, really? Well, considering I haven't bitched about anything really in 2016, I've given more constructive criticism. You know what? I have a room to bitch. If you don't like it, Fuck off! That's all I gotta say. So that's it for me. Oh, and then the fucking icing on the... One last thing. Icing on the cake. I've been fucking raid the Strowman. Winning the belts. I'd rather see Strowman in that case than Reigns. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. But that's it for me, guys. This has been a shoot. A goddamn fucking shoot. Vince... You're not using this. You're using what you can fucking on. Say they were Kevin Dunn because he's your little butt buddy. Peace.